Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to part three of my complete colouring book collection. Oh, this is going to be a hard video. So this is going to be all my whips. So all the books have got whips in them. All the, all my PDFs and all the PDF pages that I've completed, as well as obviously uh, pages uh, that have got whips, books that have got whips in them but they've also got completed pages, if that makes any sense. So the first whip is this one. Not a lot done on this. is from one of the beach ones from Ava Brown. Not the newest one, which is what I think it's beach scenes, I, I want to say. Um, but that's one I've only just not that long done. I've got the Sun, Moon and Stars colouring book by Camellia Angel Cover and my whip is this one. Now this book I am going in order so I can show you the ones I've coloured and then we'll end up back on that page. So I love this book as you can tell it's getting a bit creased. So this is and these have all been done with glitter gel pens and I just love them. Now I could have done my completed pages separately but I thought I might as well just do it all together. It makes life a bit easier. That one used up a heck of a lot of black pen but I do like it. Uh, I really like this book. That one. I think that was, yeah and then it's the whip. So those are the ones I've done in Camellia Angel Cove's Sun and Moon Mandala coloring book. Like I said that's all been done with glitter gel pens. Next one I've got is a Johanna Basford's Lost Ocean. Uh, where's the one I'm doing? I have done one in here. Um, I've started doing this double page spread but I can't find the green pen, it's downstairs somewhere. Um, and I previously did this one. So yeah, I enjoyed that one. So that's all I've done in that book. So Jade Summer 50 Easy Patterns, I've got a few in here, started one the other night I think, which was this one, and that's using the new Sharpies I bought that I hauled last month, the Cosmic ones, I just haven't finished it, in fact I forgot I'd even started it, so let's go back to the beginning, again this is a book I do in order, and these are so easy, I just pick colours. Um, usually I, I test new pens out in them. So these are just done using various markers. <laughs> Glitter gel pens, trying to use up some, <laughs> excuse me, some odd ones there. Some Sharpies probably. Oh, if I get some new markers, I think that was a new set of markers I got. So I put them, did those. Same with that one. It's a nice bright one actually. And that one was done using the Rayon Art Neons, you know, the fluorescents. So that's really nice. And then, of course, that one. So that's that one. Um, Jade Summer Adult Colouring Book 100 Amazing Patterns. Again, I've done a few in here already. I think Paul might have one in here. This is a current whip that I've been doing with Sharpies. I haven't finished it yet as you can see, um, that's why it's in here, as you can see I haven't finished carrying that little bit in yet. So um, yeah, I'll try and finish that this week. But going to the beginning, again I'm doing these in order. And some of them are done in just Sharpies, some in gel pens, water brush markers, metallic gel pens, not so keen on that one. Looks alright on camera though. More gel pens, glitter ones mostly. I haven't done money in that one. Is this the one that Paul's got one in? No, I don't think it is this one actually. I think it's the other pattern, but yeah. There's that one. I'm doing a buddy colour in, in this one um, with somebody, and I can't remember who it is, so I do apologise if you're watching. Um, I just haven't had time to do this. Jennifer was ill last week, that's why I haven't been filming. She's had bad allergies. Let me just find the one we're doing this one. So as you can see, I haven't done much, but this is the Brute Funa pencils. So I'm going to try and use them, apart from this one, which is, a, I believe, was it Black Widow? Yeah, Black Widow. The rest of it, well, the blue and the uh, 
pink a brute fool knows and that's what I'm going to use in it so I'll go back to that later and I've only done one other in this book sadly and you'll find out with most of my books I've only done one other and there's this one which is Henry's books and I am so proud of it I love it it took forever to do it's a mixture of pencils um, and gel pens both glitter metallic and ordinary and I just love how vibrant the books are and oh it looks I, th I think it looks really good even Paul really loves this one oops I do apologize um, they're actually under the desk so they're quite easy to find color in heaven fairies in nature we saw this one oh, there's a, a wrapper in it um, in our whipping the whips which we will do another video on at some point and that was this one I still have done no more since that video because I am naughty. Again, Flora. This is one I've only got this. These, these are ones I've only started one picture in. And it's this page, which I'm doing as a, um, a dryad tree person. I just thought, you know, it goes with what it is. Beauty of Horror by Alan Robertson's Nurse. So if you don't like the horror stuff, do close your eyes. This one's a bit of a mess. I need to sort it out. And that is this double page, a spread of the heads on the railings. Background is new colours. You see it's a bit of a mess, but I will tidy that up. Um, I quite like the bottom. I just need to blend it all in a bit better. Um, it's my own fault. I just did it too quickly. So, And the pencil work here with the black and that is black widow so yeah I do like this picture and I will finish it off at some point I'm sure my summer walk by Rita Berman I started one on holiday another double page spread as you can see I haven't even finished the sky it's the only bit I did but again it's something I will get back to fairly soon I'm sure um, I'm, at the moment I'm doing whatever I feel like and soon it will get to the point where I need to whip the whips and I'll start whipping them I've got Relax With Art Pocket Edition, or the Pocket Collection, which is a small book. Um, and I started this with the glitter gel pens pattern, and I haven't finished it. And I should, because it won't take that long, really. And I, I might take that downstairs and do it downstairs tomorrow. As you can see, I've got a lot of whips at the moment. Back in time, this is Relax Without a Colouring Journey. I did start one in here. somewhere can't find it where is it gone I have started one in here I, oh there it is I started the 80s girls and I've oh, literally only done this skin which is very annoying because I really want to do it so I will have to crack on Ooh, let this go um color heaven uh, fairy story special this is uh, Fabiana Atanasio. I did start this one of Hansel and Gressel at the house, the gingerbread house, eating the gingerbread, and, and I haven't finished. Obviously, I haven't finished it. So, And this is being done with various markers, a hoo hoo, um, probably Everblend, and God knows what else I've got, but who knows. Uh, we got the Chibi Color in Heaven collection by Josh Lee. Again, I've nearly finished one, but I haven't. This has all been done with watercolor paint, not pencils. It's actually paint, as you can see there's some buckling, but I don't worry about that and some transfer. The, the annoying thing is the most of it's done, apart from, you know, most of the, I got the jewels to do and the, and that and it's just me being lazy and not wanting to break out water and water this <laughs> please kill me <laughs> no, don't. oh we're getting there next another beauty with horror this is beauty horror for creature feature again i started another double page spread but i've done hardly any in here oh, there's a bit of paper in it as well where is it it's not that far back i'm sure it's not that far back no it's not Right, I go from the beginning. Oh, I'm hopeless at this, aren't I? Anyway, I was right at the beginning. I started doing the cinema, and I've only started penciling in the, the seats, um, but I'm using the ink tents on the seats at the moment, so... My idea was just to do it in sections, to do all the seats, and then pick one 
of the bad, the villains, so say pick um, Hannibal Lecter, I'm doing first. I like the way the popcorn's like little skulls actually. <laughs> and then, you know, say you do a Freddy Krueger or do the monster and, and so on. And Freddy Krueger, but I just haven't had time. So it's one of those I must get round to, to sort in. We got Mythomorphic Extreme Colour Search by Kirby Rosanna. She saw me start this one. Okay, as you can see, I have done a good portion of one of the one of the pages. I've just got to crack on and do the other side. And this was Prism, this is using Prisma colours, so I really like the way it looks at the moment. I just need to, to crack on with it. So actually looking at it, I really want to get on and do some more. So that's good. It's, it's making me want to do this, this picture and all the others um, as well, looking at them. I do want to finish them. I have got a little bit in the kids colouring book space because Jennifer was playing with it. Now I do have a completed one in, which is that one, which was done using Crayola crayons. And then... Jennifer started colouring in this bit as you can see the bits where she coloured is here and here and so what I've done is I've started just trying to fill in the gaps but I haven't had time and I think there's another one I was just going to see how well I could cover it where's the other one she was doing I don't really mind if she does play on this one and she was playing with that one that one I think is possibly a write off but maybe not so I'll have to, to look at it but it's one of those things I'll do when I feel Perhaps I've got rid of the rest of the whips, you never know. Let me just move my craft knife out way. So I can get to the last few. There are still a few. I am afraid. I've got so many. And you know me, I don't like having a lot of whips. So to me, this is a lot and I don't like it. So next one is Serene by Nick Philbert. I've got one completed in here, which I'll show you after I've shown you the whip. You won't see a lot of difference to the original because it's grey. <laughs> But the, it, it's gone a lot grey, uh, a lot grey, it's been done with markers. There is some green on the rose and on her, red on her face, yeah, you can see it. Um, but there's still a little bit to do on her wings and obviously the background and around here. But I wanted it to look like she'd been turned to stone, that she wasn't a real angel that had been turned to stone by somebody evil. So she's got some slight blue eyes. She's also a bit marbly, um, she's got blonde in her hair and and stuff like that and even the roses have got green and red on them, a bit of colour where it's not faded yet so I want to do a bit of that on these wings, um, maybe put a bit of pink on her arms, just a bit of pink up there uh, to do it and of course I've got to do the background, that's that one. I can't believe how many I've got. This is not like me. I am going to get through the, some of these. Uh, Enchanted Forest. I have not colored anything in this except for I've started the title page and that's it. So you can see how little there is to do on this page. I'm not going to do the background bit. I'm going to leave that this lovely cream off white color. I've just got a few leaves to do and this bit. So this bit I will do with fine liners or gel pens and the rest of this has been done with ink tents. But I haven't done anything else in it, so I want to. So it's just me being extremely lazy. I am very naughty. What's that one? We go back. <laughs> I do apologise to the burlesque special. Colour in heaven yet again. I have started one in here and I still haven't finished it. And I did... Well, I've started this one, which is the Kneeling Blonde, because she's based on Marilyn. So, you know, and I kind of started it and I've done a skin and this was using the Arteza pencils, Expert pencils. But as of yet, I haven't done the background or the rest of her. Uh, and I kind of know what I want to do, but uh, I just haven't done it yet. So I'm being naughty again. Another Relax With Art, this one, oh my god I didn't realise I had so many, it is ridiculous, is the Christmas one. I started Father Christmas, I started Santa, that's it, nothing else in here. And I haven't finished him because I ran out of time at Christmas so I just didn't do it. So. One to finish. 
another one. Right. Karen Heaven's Busy World Special, Colin Thompson. This one. The whip is this first page, which as you can see, I've done this bit and the shelving, <laughs> that's it. And my idea was every now and again, I'd pick it up and think, right, I'm going to do a square or a rectangle. And yeah, I haven't, just that bit. So that's, uh, you know, I could use different colour pencils on there. I have done one in here. It was one of the more simple ones. And I did this and I think it was probably with Black Widows looking at it. I enjoyed that. As you got the water running down there and it goes to the cat, I made it into a little funnel up there. I just like the way that looks. I do like that picture. Karen Heaven Christmas Special. Now I think this is one where I started one and never finished it and I probably never will. I'm just checking. I have got them marked. Yeah, it was a Ruth Sanderson one and I started doing it with markers and I don't like it. It actually looks all right on there. So maybe I will. It looks alright on camera, so maybe I'll, I just think the tree put me off and all the foliage because it's so complicated. Maybe I'll have a bit of a go at it and see how we can. As you can see, I tried to do a bit down there. You can't really see it, so. <laughs> oh, we got, I think, four more. And I wonder what the bottom ones are. Oh, gosh. Right, okay, Fairyland colouring book. I did do that bit, but I don't really worry about colouring the title pages. I've done a few in here. These were some of the very earliest ones I did. That was with the marker Rafine pencils. And these would have been with uh, Bic markers or Crayola Super Tips or something like that that don't have proper skins. Is that it? And then there's, I started this one and I've never finished it. Couldn't even tell you what pencil. Yeah, I like the picture. So I don't think there's anything else in there. No, that's it on that one. So I do really, I do really, I do like that. I want to go in and finish that off at some point. This is one of the first coloring books I ever had. And then I've got the Dracula Colour Your Own Graphic Novel. So I did this just to sort of like show what you can do and it's just a bit in, a bit coloured in and a bit not. So it looks quite, I like the way that looks some notes on what pencils I was using and stuff and so that the page doesn't as you can see this page is so I've done the first page of the story and I've done most of the second page of the story but all the bits that are left are really dark colours that I don't want to do <laughs> that's why I've not done it um, apart from these lanterns here and I've possibly do and this was done using the Derwent Colour Soft. But I do, I really want to do Dracula's Castle. So I need to get it finished. So these, this is, I'm just doing it in the Colour Softs. So I really can't wait to get back to it actually. So like I said, seeing this is a really good thing because it's encouraged me to crack on. Uh, Butterflies Colouring Book. Again, this is one that's exactly the same as, same company as the other one. Now, I, I did colour in a few of those. Like I said, I don't really worry about them. Every now and again, I'll colour one of those in. I did this one. I remember doing this one when I first started colouring. Uh, Paul was watching the football and I was colouring this and listening to the book Dark Matter on Audible and I was really proud of it. Now I can see what I would do differently, but I still like it. Um, that's my whip. I don't know if there's another one. I think there is another one in here somewhere. It's one I've started. There's another whip. There's another whip. That I started. I'm sure there is one in here I finished as well. Another one, a big one. But maybe I'm imagining things. I've got loads of them marked, as you can tell by these post-its. One I've started there. <coughs> maybe that's one I was thinking of. And oh. And that's that one. Two more with the whips in, then we'll move on to the PDFs. This will be quite a long video, but not as long as the last one. Fairy Garden Spring by Deanne Black. These are really detailed, but cute pictures. The paper's rubbish, but that's not her fault. It's an Amazon one. But these are really nice little books, actually. And I was doing this with the neon gel pens, as you can see. I can find the bright orange. These are not difficult pens to find. Um, so they're various gel pens, basically. Is there another one in here that I've done? I'm not sure, I thought there was. 
Maybe I'm imagining it. I must be imagining it. Yeah, it's just that one. And that one shouldn't take too long. And the last one is yet another one. A vintage Christmas. I like this one, but I can't. I can't believe I've ever finished this one. This one, I don't like the skin colour on the girls. It looks better on camera than it does for, on real life. And they're just hanging candles on the thing. And I just haven't finished it. And I don't know why, because it looks okay. So those are all the whips. And, what, and completed pages in the books there. Oh, no, it's not. There's, there is one more. And this, I must admit, I, I wouldn't buy again. And it is the 2021... I want to say it's 21. Johanna Bassford calendar. And I still haven't finished January. Um, but what I'll probably do is I probably will do... Well, I will do them. And I'll cut them out and put them on the... Um, the wall. The idea was to put them up in Jennifer's bedroom. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So those are all the whips. Oh, there's a marker down there. I'll go and get some PDFs and we'll start on those. Okay, so I keep all my whips in the, oh, I'm sorry, my PDFs in these black folders that I get in, buy them three at a time now from Amazon. So this one has got Jade Summers 100 Greatest Hits, 100 Best Current Pages. I've only done the first one. Let me just take that off. I've only done the first one. So I've got so many books, but there are so many in here I want to colour. Print was running out on there, ink was running out on there. So I do like this book, these, these, because I haven't got all the pictures and some of the books you can't get now. So when you look at things like, I don't know if I'll find it. Like this one, Pride and Prejudice, not available anymore. Um, Valkyrie, nice. I don't think that one's available anymore. The, this Red Riding Hood, that's not available. And there's one from Ed Gallup. Usually it's the cover photograph I've found. Uh, then I have got Kawaii Girls, which I had as a review copy from Jade Summer as a PDF. And I have done a few in that one. So I did this one. And I thought that was part of her top, but it's actually her midriff. So, But I have got a copy of this, so I can do it again. And then I've done this one. This one was done all in... Tombow Eroditon pencils, just to show that you could do it. All done in Eroditons. I don't know what that one was done in. Hang on, clue. That one was done in Crayola Super Tips. And I think that one was done in Eroditon as well. Might not have been, that might have been something else, but there you go. So those are those. Now I've also got in here Johanna Bassford's Flourish. And I've only done the title page, so as you know, there's uh, a lot of it, and uh, yeah. And then I've also got in here um, pages by other artists that are just freebie giveaways that I've got. Um, so obviously, and, and they're all the artists that are together, so I'll always put the artists together. This is Hannah Lynn, obviously. That's another Hannah Lynn. <clears throat> that one was done with ink tents, by the way. We've got some Deborah Muller, done with various markers, as you can see. I like that one, Deborah Muller. And another one. And then this is uh, Molly Harrison. It was done in gel pens and some kind of marker. Uh, this one, which is the wrong way around, so I'm actually going to take this one out, is a Christmas one that was free off of the Crayola website. And that's also a freebie from the Crayola website. So if you just type in free Karen Pages Crayola, they have some lovely ones on there, whether they are for adults or kids. It's entirely up to you, but that's where they came from. This was a Colour in Heaven one that they put together. <coughs> they asked what you wanted. So we wanted eggs, a bunny, and some daffodils, tulips, and stuff. And that's what they came up with. I think that was Black Widows. Uh, this was Current Heaven Discovery Club by, and it's won by Chinthaka Harith. And then this one is by Colouring Chicks. So I don't often do the, color, the Discovery Club ones. Sometimes I don't even do the subscriber perk one. I do occasionally, I've got them printed up or saved, but I've just not got around to it. There's one I want to do this month's Discovery Club. 
Okay, so that's that one. And now we'll be moving on to the Ava Brown one. Okay, so here is the Ava Brown. I've got three files for Ava Brown. Two full and one not full. So this is the first book in here is Secret Garden. I have done two in here. I have done the boot and this one. That one yeah, that was, I don't know why there's no page on the back of there. Okay, that's fine. I need to sort that out. The rest of them I haven't done. I haven't coloured in every single book. I've got to be honest. It's a different book now. Um, but I do like to put them all up because in them every now and again I think oh I want to colour in that one and then we've got the cute ocean colouring book and I've only done one and I did the cute little starfish so again they, they are adorable I love the ocean ones so I will be doing one of them country spring I don't know what that mark is sorry Jen if I dropped on there probably done a few from here I think it's three I did this one and plant in there some flowers and this one of the tulip fields and this one of the washing hanging on the line. Now there are I, I, there are a few more I want to do and there may be a few that I've actually got out ready to colour. Uh, Secret Village 3. I've only done this, this one. But I do like this. I think it's so cute. As I said, there's a lot of these. Let's check that's right. Oh, here's one. So this one is a Sweet Treats colouring book. Uh, when I first started being um, on the launch team, they didn't give you the covers. Now they do, which is really nice. And I did the orange and lemon cake. Again, there's loads I would love to do in here. It's just having time uh, when you got so many. I'm just going to show you because beautiful birds I've not coloured in. I'm not big on doing birds, but I will colour in them at some point. It's just not something I enjoy colouring particularly. And then we've got Secret Garden 3. And I've coloured this one in. I actually like this one. It's just a little swan there at the back. Swimming in the in the river or the, the stream. I just think that looks nice. And I, that's the only one again I've done from that. But it's such a nice book. So that is volume one of my Ava Browns. And I am going through this quite quickly because there are a lot more to get through. There's another one and a half to go. Okay, so here's volume two of my Ava Brown collection. And um, obviously these are just the ones that are PDFs, the ones that are actual physical books you've already seen. So we've got Spring Animals. I have not done one in here. That does not mean to say, oh, look at that, that the book isn't beautiful. I just have not had chance. I love this one. I've just not had chance to do anything in it yet. I've got so many. I try and leave a review um, on Amazon if I can't, if I don't colour in it in the first month. Secret Village Main Street, again, this one was without a cover because they sort of went between having covers and not. I haven't done one on Main Street, I don't believe, looking at it. Um, but it is cute. They're quite busy. I might do the ice cream one, actually. Chibi Animals Grayscale. My printer ran out of ink during this, as you can tell by the cover. Um, but I'm not worried about that, because although it's like that, what I can do is think, oh, I'm going to have a look at this. I want to colour one. I've still got the download. I can go and print off the one I want to do and just replace it in the book and eventually replace them all. So that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. So that's the only one that's practically done all right. Uh, Gnoming Around the World colouring book. This is fantastic. This is gnomes in famous places. So, Great Wall of China. I have done one in this. I love that Paris. <laughs> Aztec Pyramid. There's one in London. Leaning Tower. So these are absolutely... Oh, there's one at Vegas. I might have to do that one. Gnome Wood. But yeah, absolutely love this. Oh, Stonehenge, I have to do that one. But I did, and I will take it out because it is a sideways on one. If I can find it. Ooh. Whoops. And I can't get it out because I didn't realise it was right about that. Um, them at the Pyramids of Giza. And I really love that because I love anything to do with ancient Egypt, as you know. So 
so there's that one Beach Life colouring book it's possible this is the one I'm colouring out of actually no it's not I haven't coloured in this one but I, I do like it there's more people in this one it's beach scenes um, and then there's luxury backyards this isn't my kind of thing um, it's okay there's nothing wrong with it don't get me wrong uh, they're all landscape rather than portraits um, that's the only one I really like to do but it's so detailed in the background and they're supposed to be like luxury gardens but to me some of them actually they're not they're a bit dull right tattoos uh, again this is one I do like and I have only done one and I did this one with glitter gel pens all of it was glitter gel pens even the white and purple flowers and all that happens I put it in and I just spread it out actually I missed a stone there I'll go back and do that that's not difficult huh. or I won't and I love these tattoo books I might do the skull soon uh, this one quite like this one I wouldn't mind doing that one to be honest and then what's next oh costume cats oh which you can actually see cosplay cats love these these are so cute again I have done one and I did the ice skater because again I love to ice skate but that doesn't mean to say that the rest of these aren't gorgeous because they flip in are look at that <laughs> astronaut one I love them so these are really cute. a rock star cat a postman cat Ballet cat, oh, golfing cat. Okay, there seems to be a gap there for some reason, not sure why. Cersei Lannister cat, oh, sitting on the Iron Throne. Absolutely brilliant. There's the pirate from the cover. Ah, oh, sorry, I can get rid of one of them. Secret Village Summer. Done one in here. Definitely don't want it in here. I love this one of the little mice in their paddling pool or their hot tub or jacuzzi. To me, it looks like a paddling pool, could be a hot tub. <laughs> but I think that one is really cute. So that is that one. And I think that's probably the end of that one. I love this one of them in the tire. Uh, they're playing croquet, just lazing outside. These are just so cute. They really are adorable and I'm not big on doing cutesy mice and things but these ones because they're not realistic they're like wearing clothes and stuff I love them I think they're fantastic look at them sunbathing on the beach who can blame them right there's one more folder of pdfs and that's it so I'll be right back with that okay last folder of pdfs and it's not even half full as you can see. So that's great. I think there's maybe three in here. And the first one is the Cute Mermaids book. Let me open it up. And I did these two little mermaids and I think they're so cute. I love them. Uh, the book, the ones at the front, I tend to move the ones I wanna do next to the front of some of these. So there's some really, really nice ones. That's a nice one. And this book, it's adorable. Okay, so that's, oh, look at those. Oh. Then we got beach scenes. This is the one I'm colouring from, actually. The one I showed you that I've done the sky and then nothing else. Um, so I'm working, that's my whip. Um, yeah, they're just scenes from a beach. And that's it, there's only those two in there. But if you look, these are really nice. I quite like that one as well. Swim costume. That's quite a nice one, just with the flags and the, the decking. Um, yeah, so that is all of my colouring books with whips and the completed pages that are in those books as well. And all the PDFs and co completed pages that I've got so far in PDF format. So, whew, that was fun. We'll, we'll, we'll be on to part four next, which will be Jane Summer completed pages. Oh, the joy. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me a comment in the, the, down below or a thumbs up. If you want to see me colour in any other books, even in the PDFs, let me know and I will happily do that for you. And I will see you in the very next video. Bye, everyone.